Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have the Emperor here. Structure and order, decision, seven of summer, stop, time to stop procrastinating. Looks like someone's getting very clear on what they truly want now. Uh, finally making a decision. I regret lying to you. I love you unconditionally. So someone's been withholding their feelings here, not been very honest uh, with how they're, they've been feeling. Overall energy we have four of wands. This is about uh, celebrations here. Also stable foundations. Okay, being able to enjoy time as well. I'm really picking up here. Celebrate a union. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have the Hermit, Page of Cups, and the King of Cups. So this week uh, is a very emotional week, but in a positive way for you. I do see that things are moving in a direction where you're starting to gain some understanding about your connection or love life here, other people. I do see that, uh, you know, if you have not been very appreciated in the past, there's been some disappointments here, but things are starting to change. Okay, this is a week of uh, definitely meditation and gaining a lot of understanding on uh, things here and what's about to happen energetically. So definitely pay attention to your intuition this week. Uh, the veil is very thin and you're able to see things for what they are. Chariot, Seven of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles for their energy. Yeah, they are tired of really thinking about you, missing you, longing for being around you here. They really are craving your energy. And I see that they've been pushing things off, uh, not been able to work with you or uh, really focus on this connection as a whole. There's a lot of disappointment here. They're longing to change the past, but they realize in the current moments that that's not possible. But I see a lot of dwelling on their emotions here over you, really wishing that they would have done something different here. Uh, tell me the Four of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. Yeah, someone's uh, definitely wishing that they would have offered their heart in the past, Six of Pentacles. So they know now that they really made the wrong decision. They procrastinated, but also uh, took a lot more than they gave in this connection. I also see that someone was just not paying attention uh, to your needs or understanding your side of things. Uh, so in the past, we have Strength, Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this love was overwhelming for them. They do see you as uh, emotional fulfillment. You make them the happiest that they could ever be. And it really did take them by surprise here, but it always stayed in first gear in the Ace of Cups. With the Strength card, they definitely tamed themselves, really held back from offering you uh, the love that you deserve here. And it's not due to you personally at all. I see that this person carries a lot of fears or doubts within themselves. And uh, if they can make another person as happy as they make them. Okay, tell me the strength card. Yeah, Queen of Cups. So they saw you as, as the one, the perfect uh, counterpart to themselves. Yeah, Nine of Swords, but there's a lot of fear. A lot of fear of not being able to... Uh, you know, give you what you desire, a fear of failure as well. And it doesn't just st stem from this uh, situation. They've been carrying this around for a while. They definitely feel like in life uh, they failed a lot and it becomes terrifying for them, especially when it comes to relationships in general. And they have uh, issues as well with other people in their life that they feel like, you know, their relationships just not strong with friends, family. They feel like uh, in the end, they always end up ruining things as well. For the challenge, we have Eight of Wands, Judgment, and the Hanged Man. So we start to get some more information here about how this was very on and off. It seemed like uh, you can never figure out 
what this person's deal was and why they were holding back. You could feel the energy that they do love you, that they care about you here. But how they were projecting it to you was as if they didn't care. It was quite opposite. Being very cold, uh, detached, as well as uh, always making excuses, okay? Excuses for not understanding things, for listening to you, as well as making a move or taking action. So just being inconsistent here without making decisions about you. Uh, tell me about the Judgment card. Ace of Wands lovers so they treated you as if you were just something that if they had spare time they would give into this uh just kind of kept you on the side is what i feel here i do see that you ended up feeling very stressed out and emotionally uh, upset and felt depleted and drained because you felt like you had so much love to give you were giving them constantly whatever they needed at any moment but they weren't willing to give you anything back uh especially when it comes to a emotional fulfillment tell me the hanged man it is showing me for uh, a lot of them they had to release something here could be a mindset uh, due to fear of failure um, and not being able to achieve what they want but for some of them it can be an environment page of wands yeah it's like one foot in one foot out their heart truly desires you but at the same time they're not willing to have the courage to uh, take a risk and make a decision here to choose to open up and be vulnerable with you so the fear of being vulnerable is something that just truly terrifies them. And so they end up uh, being very inconsistent here, always in their head, wanting more, but unable to give it because they feel like they would fail at that. Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah, they just needed to open up and tell you their truth. Come clean here, let you know that they are truly in love with you. Uh, but they have a fear of not knowing how to go about this, how to deal with this. They kind of have shut off uh, love in general in their life, a lot of them. Uh, you know, something serious. They tend to give into uh, little things here and there, but nothing that they would commit to. And you made them want to really... Uh, just go all in and it's just uh, them fighting their fears here on uh, what what's the right thing to do. I just don't want to fail. So we have five of cups, seven of pentacles, and the knight of swords for what they're about to do. So this is very unexpected. You're going to have something uh, come towards you and be very clear and have a lot of answers to your questions that you've been wondering for a long time. This is what you truly deserve is what's happening here. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time.